So, we have Eitan Romanoff and Nathaniel Case with Retrieving Meaning from Words. Tell us what the project's about. Uh, I'm, Na- I'm Nathaniel Case. This is Eitan Romanoff. Uh, we are students at FOSS at RIT, with FOSS at RIT, which is the free open source software uh, lab on the Rochester Institute of Technology campus in Rochester, New York. Uh, and one of the things we get to do there is we get to work on lots of different interesting projects with interesting technologies. And one of the technologies we've both worked on in different projects recently is NLTK, or the Natural Language Toolkit. Um, there are many different ways to use NLTK. Uh, the main way that we used it uh, broke down to three simple steps. There's tokenize, simplify, and classify. Tokenize involves breaking the text down into individual tokens representing words uh, and then optionally tagging them with the part of speech information like a noun, verb, adjective. Uh, simplify uh, is when you take uh, different forms of the same word, uh, like conjugated verbs and such, and uh, you basically simplify them down so they all represent the same word. So run, running, ran, all break down to run, and they represent the same thing, which simplifies your data set. And then with classify, you want to use uh, machine learning technologies to find interesting uh, features in the data set and try and break the different texts into groups so that you can make some sort of decision about it. So one particular way that we used NLTK was uh, with regards to the latest political election and the political campaign. And we mined a whole bunch of political tweets uh, starting up from the third debate up until election night. And this was a very simple process of just uh, pulling in the tweets from both the polling API as well as the streaming API supplied by Twitter. We stored it in a MongoDB database, and then we tried to mine it to see what could we learn from this information. So we could do a few different things. Using NLTK, very simply, you could do frequency analysis to see what sort of uh, common features there are in the text, what things are mentioned the most, what are related topics, who are influential users, etc. You could also pull the metadata, um, <clears throat> that's a part of the tweet, to check out the some geography uh, uh, information, which countries are most uh, influential when talking about the debate, uh, which states are the most talked about, etc. And then again, using the three-step process, you can also do sentiment analysis. So something that we did was uh, basically uh, exit polling with regards to the third debate. So we tried to see, did uh, people support Obama or Romney uh, after that third debate using Twitter data? Fantastic. Is your code available? Uh, will be. <laughs> uh, some of our code is available. Um, Another project I worked on involved scraping a couple thousand tweets, uh, I'm sorry, emails uh, that were sent to a local school district. Um, The data for that is not available, unfortunately, because it's privileged information, but that is up on my GitHub. I am Kalthos, Q-A-L-T-H-O-S, at uh, GitHub, and that should be under mail scrape. And uh, you can also find all the other projects that the Fawcett RIT group does using uh, at the Fawcett RIT, Foss RIT uh, yeah. GitHub account. So all our projects related to Fawcett RIT are posted there. Thanks. I think we'll check it out. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay.